Disruption in real estate. Well, the landmark legal settlement between the NAR and several major real estate brokers having ripple effects across the industry. Now, real estate stocks sold off in the wake of the announcement. We have Zillow off more than 10% since the settlement was announced. Redfin and Compass shares, they have also declined on that news. Well, Wall Street is now trying to gauge, and Americans are really trying to gauge what the settlement will mean for home buyers, what it means for some of the major players within this sector. Who better to talk to about this? And Barbara Corcoran. She's joining us now at the desk, founder of the Corcoran Group. Barbara, it's great to see you. Thank you very much. So let's talk about the settlement. Just your initial reaction to it, the disruption. Will it cause disruption throughout the industry? I, I think a lot less than people expect it to. But what it is causing is total confusion. Brokers are confused. Buyers and sellers are confused. I even think the people who made the amendments are confused. Mm. But they're really only basically two changes that do make a difference, not a, not a tremendous difference, but a clear difference. One is if you're a buyer in the market and you wanna hire a broker to represent you, to find you a house, it now has to be in writing exactly what they're gonna do for you and exactly what each service is gonna charge, okay? What they will charge you for each service. So there's clarity, and I think that's very good for the buyers that they have clarity, but it's not so good for the buyers because if the seller doesn't want to pay like days of old, sandwich it into the commission, they have to take it out of their pocket. And buyers I know don't like to pay for things out of their own pocket. Okay. I wonder too if sellers are gonna find other ways to increase fees so that it doesn't necessarily lead to, or brokers rather, are gonna find a way to increase fees and commissions so that there's not that big of an impact. I think that's gonna happen. I think particularly the sellers will step up to the plate because you have to remember, sellers want buyers coming in. The more buyers that come in the house, the better the price they get, basically. So they're gonna find a way to make good with the buyers, whether it be paying for closing costs or any myriad of things that they can do. But it will even the score out. So I don't think the, the ruling is a big deal, honestly, but the confusion it's causing is amazing. Mm. So Barbara, you mentioned confusion, and I think a lot of people are confused, me included, about what this is going to do to the price of homes, right? Because mm -hmm. you have the argument out there that if you're not paying for a fee here, an agent fee, then it makes more sense for the home seller. Maybe they could list their housing, their home a little bit more. Maybe they'll list it less because they're not having to deal with those fees. Then you also have the other side of the argument where this could actually attract more people into potentially buying a home and get them off the sidelines here if we do see a drop in fees. What's the ultimate impact on home prices? I don't really believe either of those neutral? things are going to happen. It's a neutral. Think of yourself. If you're selling your home and if you, let's say you save 3% with the new ruling and say, I don't want to buy, pay the buyer's broker the extra 3%, do you think you're going to pass that along to the buyer, which a lot of people are saying is the case? No, sellers are greedy. It's a one-time chance to get the most for your house and you're not going to give that money away. So if you think prices are going to come down, Definitely not the case. There is such a shortage of houses right now that prices have gone up despite everybody singing the blues 9% this year. How, pardon me, 6% this year. How did that happen? It happened simply because of supply and demand. There's a lot of buyers and not enough houses to be, to be available, and that's what rules the market. Do you see prices continuing that move to the upside? I think the prices are gonna go through the roof, especially if interest rates come down another point by year end. I think everybody and their mother and their in-laws is gonna come out looking for a new house, and the competition is gonna be so fierce that house prices will have to go up. So when should people be buying? Right now, but that's always my mantra. It, always the best time to buy. <clears throat> Not because I'm an ex real estate broker by any means, <laughs> but I'm sure I'm biased in my attitude toward it. But it always is true that the minute you go out in the marketplace when everybody else is out, you always pay more. Why would you wait for that? Mm. A real driver here when we talk about the pricing of homes, why they have risen so dramatically has been because of inventory, that lack of inventory. Definitely. There has been lots of questions about what it's going to take in order to unlock more inventory, what the ultimate impact is going to be on the housing market. Do you see the inventory picture getting fundamentally better anytime soon? It's gotten a little bit better, maybe to the tune of 4% more inventory a month in the last three months. But no, there's such a shortage of houses. I don't see how that's going to change. You know, the biggest problem, again, is interest rates. People who own homes have 3%, 4%, some of them even 2% mortgages. They don't want to give those up. That's why you have the bottleneck right now. That's why people aren't leaving their homes. Is it still true that you can buy the house and then date the rate and you can refinance? Is that true in kind of a higher for longer environment? 
Uh, it can, but it makes people feel good more than it makes a difference. Okay. Barbara, your advice to maybe people who are sitting on the sidelines, they haven't listed their home. They're mm -hmm. a little bit nervous given the fact that we've seen that dramatic run up in rates. What do you think is going to be the key factor to prompt them? Is it mortgage rates below 6% or do you think even some improvement from where we've plateaued just below 7% is enough to move some of that inventory? If it goes to 6%, people are gonna get so much more for their houses. Why would they even think of selling? If it hovers somewhere in the 7%, the market is gonna be so active and they're gonna get more for their houses too. So it's a hard argument to convince a seller now's the time to sell. Life changes make it necessary for people to sell, but when it's optional, nobody's putting the house on the market. I'm curious about your advice for first time home buyers, obviously impacted by this settlement, but also a lot of people have just said, I'm gonna give up, I'm just gonna rent forever. Mm -hmm. Should people still have the goal of owning a home someday? Well, first I'll say that rents are cheaper anywhere in the United States than buying. So logic would dictate, sure, why not rent, it's cheaper. But everybody, almost everybody, has this idea that the American dream is still owning your own home. But for the first time buyer, they're the hardest hit. They have to compete the hardest, have the least amount of cash to compete, so they're not making cash offers, and they're losing four out of five houses that they're interested in. I would not wanna be a first time buyer. I don't know what's really gonna give there, but it's not gonna be easy. Any advice then for the first time buyer? <laughs> Barbara, help me. Oh, I, I must sound depressing today, don't I? <laughs> yes, here's good advice. Do what I did for the last four houses. Now my people might say, well, I don't have her money, that's true. But I've done this my whole life. Run into a community, see which houses you like and leave love notes on every door. And that's worked. Yeah. You're allowed to leave none. I love your house. It reminds me of my grandmother's house where I grew up in the wallpaper I noticed probably, or the garden or whatever. Whatever. Trim it up. Leave them a note. The last four houses I built were not on the mar that I bought were not on the market. I just picked out the house I like best and eventually the people called. That's some great advice. I love that you advice. Might take it. Yeah. I think sellers are gonna kill It'll us. They're gonna get a lot of notes. Yep. <laughs> hey, they're love notes. Okay. You can't be too too unhappy. Barbara, thank you so much. My really pleasure. Really appreciate you joining us. Hope I wasn't too negative video. today. Hey, you got the pink. You're a realist. Yes, okay. Exactly. Thank, thank you, you so so much. We You're appreciate welcome. it.